today we're in Flagstaff, Arizona for the 2022 Overland Expo West and we're going to be showing you the top five Tacomas. With me today is Eric from Relentless Off-Road. How's it going, man? How doing, are you? Doing great, Mateo. Thank you. Dude, this first gen Tacoma looks incredible. What inspired you to do this build? We kind of bought this truck a little bit ago, uh, had some stuff done to it already. Thought it was a great base for a project build for us. And we really wanted to do something that was showcasing our products, kind of modern, but also brought an old school kind of flair, you know, some retro stripes on it, things like that. Talking about retro, it looks like a Tacoma version of the Marty McFly, right? Yeah, I, I know yeah, you've been a little hearing bit. That's, a lot. that's certainly a little bit of inspiration. You know, thankfully with the black truck, we did the KC lights on it, gave it that classic vibe on there. The Ivan Stewart kind of colors on the bottom, our own twist on that. So, I love it, yeah. dude. I love it. And one thing that I really enjoy is that you guys are going after the first gents also, right? Like you Definitely. Are, there's customers out there that have first gents at home that are always telling us like, hey man, yes. like nobody's giving us love and you guys are. Yes. Let's talk about your front bumper here. So yeah, this is our plate bumper. It fits the 1996 to 2004 generation of the Tacoma here. Bolts right on. Nice and solid, fits a winch. We've got the lights up on top. Gives you a great protection and also great added clearance on the front of the truck as well. Sweet, man. How do you like that new super winch? So far, it's been fantastic. It's really quiet, really smooth. I'm very happy with it. You know, haven't really got a chance to fully test it out, bury the trek or anything like that yet, but uh, initial impressions are, are impressive. It's, it's a nice winch. What about the headlights? I know these are not the stock ones. Correct, yeah. There's uh, a two-piece marker and headlight set up on these trucks from the factory. And when you kind of make it one piece like this, it really makes the truck just look a little cleaner and a little bit newer, I think. So we want to go with the blacked out look and make everything everything blend and look kind of modern, retro to go. I agree, it definitely makes it look modern. Now this, the first gen's looking really uh, tall. What did you guys do for suspension? So we bought this truck, it already had a five inch Tough Country drop bracket lift on it, actually. Drop bracket lifts in the Toyota market, not necessarily uh, well regarded, but got the right proportions for this truck and eventually we'll probably change it out and do a straight axle or something like that so suiting us for right now dude straight axle on this truck is gonna be sweet i i think so yeah so and then the for the shocks what did you guys go with so we want to refresh all the suspension on it this truck has 230,000 miles on it when we bought it needed a little bit of love it had been kind of neglected so we went through the whole front end and basically replaced every wear item on this truck all the bushings the shocks the upper control arms got the cambergs on there the shocks are actually a bilstein 6112 they look beefy uh, dude. yeah they're a two and five eighths shock so they're a little bit bigger even in diameter than the typical 2.5 Kings box that everybody else runs. Yeah. And a, a reasonably budget friendly item for, for people as well. And it drives fantastic. I got 17 miles a gallon on the way down here. He's doing and, better and than my, awesome. my third gen. They're just classic and, and really everybody loves these things. So it, it's easy to see why. Dude, one thing I really want to touch base on is these sliders. Yes. I love this. Yes, yeah. So on these uh, first gen Tacomas, there's no rear door, like on the more modern second and third gen Tacomas. So we did something here. We did a kick up on it, as that's called in the industry. Really protect the cab there. And it just adds a, a different flair to the whole truck. Dude, it definitely does. I love it. I haven't seen this. Okay. Um, I don't yeah. see it that often. Definitely, definitely. And uh, seeing it on the third gen, it makes total sense. Right, yeah. So again, you know, it's easy to replace the door if you damage it on the trail. The back of the cab the front of the bed a little bit harder so uh, we want to protect that there and it and i think it just adds a great style what did you go with for uh wheels and tires so these are 35 inch uh yokohama geolander mud train the g003s fantastic tires we've ran them on several of our trucks in the past highly recommend them if somebody's looking for a, a good streetable mud train tire and then we've got these bronze fuel shock wheels on here again fantastic wheels we've never had any issues with them they've been on tons of trails uh, there's a little rock rash on most of them but it's all good it's all all part of it what do we have here in the back so this is actually a modular bed rack that I designed and built actually about a week and a half ago. Is um, it universal or does it just fit the... This uh, one is specific to the, actually the first gen Tacoma here. Our other racks are usually a 12 inch high. This one, I wanted to get the lights on top. So it's 21 inches tall, a little bit taller than our normal, but got those KCs up on there above the roof. And this one's no drill, full modular, just clamps onto your bed rails and gives you tons of mounting options for rooftop tent. Obviously your, your roto packs, your max tracks, it's molly all down the side, so you can you can strap all kinds of gear to this thing. Dude, this is sweet, man. It's, it reminds me of my third gen. Like, it's so long that you can literally fit everything that I have on my the, third the gen. The six-foot bed is, is really great, yeah. What did you do for... Uh rear suspension here so rear suspension was was very worn out when we bought this truck with the five inch lift it had a big old block on there which is really not ideal for off-road use yeah. we knew we were throwing all this weight at it we needed a heavier set of springs uh, so this is a three inch apex set of leaf springs on here the expedition series the front being five inches lifted i still had to put a small block on it to get the ride height leveled out but we did a u-bolt flip on it gain clearance from that that's our own kit that we offer 
and then I actually managed to fit an 11 inch travel Bilstein 5100 shock in here. No way, that looks awesome, man. That looks really, really clean. So, so she rides pretty good, budget option. Um, again, she's gonna be going a little bit more wild later on, so didn't want to throw the best of the best parts at her just yet. Dude, I can't Let's wait for you to later. straight axle this truck. Yes, that yeah. That'd be awesome. Yep. I might want to take it off your hands. Yeah? If that's I, possible. I, I think a few people have offered to buy it from me this weekend. <laughs> it looks like we're gonna be going, uh, doing a bit off, right? Maybe, maybe. Called? For the high clearance rear bumper. Yes. Is this a new version that you guys have? So this is actually a classic design that we've offered for about a decade now, to be honest with you. It actually wraps around the bedside. There's no cutting involved on this bumper. Oh, no way. First gen Tacomas have a much slimmer bedside than the newer trucks, so we can get away with this and still get clearance and great protection. Wraps all the way up underneath your bedside that down here. so awesome. Super stout. It's got a brace tube on the side. And then we also opted to throw a tire carrier on it for our, our 35 inch spare tire matching on the truck. We can open that up if you like. Yeah, that would be awesome. Sure. You can so, open yeah. that up for us. We just pull the latch, she swings right open clicks in place, locks open there. Oh man, so, I love how clean this truck looks, man. Super, super easy. This is a new modular carrier style that we're working on here. Uh, we threw some molly on there. We can move the tire around. It's on a, a bolt-on mount. And uh, we're gonna have a few other bolt-on accessory mounts, uh, tables, things like that for everybody. I was just gonna ask you that, like, are you gonna offer table that, options? So that's, that's really coming. cool yep. that, that yep. you guys are doing yep. that. Well, Eric, thank you so much for your time, man. I love what you've done with this first gen Tacoma. Thanks, Mateo. Keep it up, man. I can't wait for you to straight axle it. Thank you. I'll see you around. See you around. Up next, we're here with Dylan from Mule Expedition Outfitters and his third gen Tacoma. This thing is badass, man. What color is this? This is, they call a deep space. It's kind of a purple blue with like a hint of brown in it. I love how, you know, when you look at it yeah. different angles, it completely changes yeah. color. It goes blue, It's like purple. a different truck. Sick, man. What did you do for headlights? I'm running the Morimoto's. How do you like them so far? I love them. The light output's amazing. You know, the factory ones are garbage, Yeah. but these ones are awesome. That's good to hear that, yeah, man. Yeah. What about for the front bumper? We're running C4 front bumper, they're hybrid, and then running some rigid light bar, as well as some Baja lights in them. How do you like those lights? They're killer, oh, yeah. they're killer. I ran the rigid just because it has a back glow, so there's a purple back glow to it as well. Oh, they have that now? Yeah, yeah. No way, dude. That's badass. That's pretty cool. Now, what did you go with for uh, wheels and tires? So we're running black rhino bead locks, and then I'm running 35 inch Yokohama mud trains. Are you rubbing at all? It rubs a little bit. When you get up there and start flexing, it rubs. Did but you have to do a body mount chop? Yeah, I did a body mount chop and then kind of cut out a lot of the inner fender well as well, cool. just so you get a little bit of clearance. Nice, man. What did you do for suspension? So I'm running King two and a half with adjusters and then Total Chaos upper control arms and lower control arms, as well as their spindle gussets. It's not the long travel kit, right? No, it's, it's just their standard? stock length, yeah. It's when you go long travel up where we are, it's a little wide to fit down the trails. And that right there is a legit setup. It must ride like oh, yeah. really good. It rides good. Cool, man. What do you have for sliders? So we're running Bay Area Metal Fab sliders. Not They're fresh because I just painted yeah. them. Oh, really? <laughs> Got to touch them up before the show. No, but you can clearly see that they're all scratched down here. So yeah. made it look like yeah. you don't use it. For sure. Cool. Got to look pretty. And this is something that I'm dying to show you guys. It's the first time that I see it out here. Um, and it's freaking awesome. They have different options, right? What is this yeah. exactly? So this is a Mitz alloy tray. They're we we're the US importers for them. They're made overseas in Australia. They're killer, way better than a bed setup. So why would somebody want to have this setup, right? And the first thing that I think about is if I put anything here, it's gonna fly out, yeah. right? Unless you have a dirt bike, but right. what other things can you do with this? So it's a lot more space than a regular bed. So you're like six feet wide where a regular bed, you're pretty narrow because the wheel wells. It's also, you know, five and a half foot long, so you get a lot of storage. So yeah, we get some storage boxes here. As you can see, I got all my tie downs in there, but yeah. And I'm guessing it has that on the other side as oh, well. Oh yeah, dust proof, waterproof, so you can keep whatever you want in there. It's not gonna get all dirty and whatnot. Uh, How heavy is this? So the tray itself weighs about 429 pounds. So compared to the composite bed, you pick up a little bit of weight. That's, I thought it was gonna be way more. They're light, full aluminum. Yeah. Let me ask you this, I'm dying to know, because it seems like it does this. No does till. It? No, no till. till. Oh, man, no. I was dying to know that. Yeah. yeah, a lot of people think that, but. That would be sweet. But right. so is it easy to get, I guess, with a ramp, right? You get. Yeah, it's a little taller than a regular bed, but with a couple guys, it's not a problem to throw a, throw a bike up there. Is there also storage here? Yeah. You get a here, huge rear trundle drawer. Oh, wow. So I keep spare parts, tools, all that kind of stuff in here. And again, dust proof, waterproof, so you're not gonna get your stuff dirty. Dude, you can even put a stove here, Yeah. right? Like yep. cook here. Yeah, I got my stove right here, ready to go. Holds up to about 250 pounds, so keep a lot of gear in there. 
But what other configurations do you guys have? I see that, does it come powder coated? Yeah, so you get powder coated black. We don't bring them in raw, but you can get canopy set up. So I have a canopy coming, which is gonna be a three footer. So a little stubby canopy. And then also gonna have sideboards as well. So you can throw stuff in here and not worry about it sliding off. Cool. What about installation? Is it something that anybody can do or you recommend like prof a professional, professional install? install just for warranty reasons. But yeah, it doesn't take too long to do it. And you guys ship this big piece directly to the customers or shop? We do it at our shop, yeah. So we have a couple of vendors um, that, you know, around the, the United States that install for us. But yeah, we ship them and then they do professional install. Awesome. And, and do you recommend for the Tacoma to upgrade the leaf springs to be able to run this? I mean, it's not that heavy for yeah, what you're Yeah, if you're doing me. a stock bed, you know, no canopy or something, you can run, you know, stock setup. But if you're going to start throwing a canopy and a bunch of weight, you'll want to think about doing suspension upgrade. Anything that we might have missed on the truck? Headboard water tank. Standard feature on this guy is a 30 liter water tank. So, you know, kind of unused space, you get fresh water. So dishes, that kind of stuff, it's killer. Love that. And yeah. then you have a snorkel, right? Yeah, and then I'm running the snorkel. ARB Safari snorkel as well. Man, you have an awesome truck. Thank you so much yeah, for sharing that it. with us. We no problem. It. Thank you. Up next, we're here with Jesse Riso and his third gen Tacoma. How's it going, man? It's going great. And for you? Doing good, man. Are you enjoying the show so far? I'm loving it so far. <laughs> awesome, man. Dude, your truck has evolved like crazy yeah. the last few weeks. It, it's probably been a, a big change since the last time you saw it. So. Dude, it looks beefier, <laughs> man. Yeah. What, uh, what do you have up here in the front for bumper? Up here, I have a uh, CBI Off-Road Adventure Series bumper. It is the aluminum one, and I chose that just for weight mainly <laughs> especially yeah. with it having so much material yeah right? that's what i was afraid of um, that's a smart yeah. move man it's it's worked out and then inside i have a uh, rough country winch uh, pro series 9500 uh, with the synthetic uh, rope and then uh, factor 55 uh, flat link right there what do you have for lights <laughs> for lighting i do have a mix i'm not going to lie for my fog lights i have the diode dynamics fog lights which are just plug and play super easy to install and then for the headlights, they're actually from TacomaBeast.com, the man himself. These are the Alpha X, uh, <laughs> yes, sir. the Nova series. Yeah, the Nova right? series. How do you like the that. light sequence? Oh, I love it. It's awesome. And uh, just the brightness overall is awesome. That's <laughs> good to hear that, my man. Yeah. What do you have for the snorkel? This is not an A or B one, right? It's not. So for the snorkel, that one is actually, uh, I believe, an off-brand one. And then for the snorkel head, that's from Snorkel Upgrade which is awesome because it's kind of like a uh, turbine, I guess, inside. I've been seeing a older. lot of people rocking these yeah. things. I, I still need to adjust mine a little. It needs to sit a little lower, so I need to do some cutting, but it's awesome overall. Nice, man. And, then, uh, and up top, what do you have? Up top, basically, those are Diode Dynamics SS3 Maxes, and in the center, they're sports, the yellow ones. So I have it on a dual harness, so that way I can flip from either or, or turn both of them on. Oh, that's yeah, pretty Yeah, that's sweet. pretty new. I just installed all I that. I did see that that was a pretty yeah. new upgrade. Um, I still need to adjust them a little crooked, but they're awesome. It's right here. I have the KC4 series or something like that. They're brand new ones. Those are awesome. So you have a little bit of everything for lights. Yeah, kind of mix, I guess, KC and diode, if I'm being honest. Nice, man. <laughs> Your yeah. truck is looking really with a really nice stance yeah what do you have for suspension so for suspension what i have right here is going to be the king 2.5 uh, extended travel with the remote reservoirs adjusters and the 700 pound springs for the upper control arms i have camberg's x joint their brand new series these are yeah. awesome <laughs> these things are badass yeah, i love them they're they're good <laughs> And what about uh, for wheels and tires? For wheels and tires, uh, wheels, they're the Summit Off-Road. I can't remember the, the exact one, but it's from Summit Off-Road, 17 by nine, negative 25 offset. So it's nice and it gives that, that wide look. As far as for tires, I'll be honest with you, uh, you inspired me to go 35s. <laughs> oh, really? So, yeah. So uh, How do you like tires, it so far? I love it. Yeah. Do you feel like the truck became slower? Is it a... It's, it was slower until I did the re-gear. I did the 529 re-gear. You went with the 529? Yeah. And then you felt it go... Then I felt it kind of normalize. Okay. So it felt good after that and then did a little tune uh, to kind of help that out, I guess you could say. And it drives way better. But yeah, I mean, they're just 35 by 12 and a half by 17 Toyo MTs. And uh, I love them. <laughs> and how are you doing with uh, miles per gallon right now? Uh, smiles per gallon, I like to call it nowadays. Smiles per gallon. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little different now. Um, so uh, roughly, I'm getting between 10 to 14 miles per gallon. Wow, dude. That's yeah. way better than me. Yeah. <laughs> what that's... are you getting? Eight? No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> You're probably on the floor all the time. Yeah, but we have the Magnus and Supercharger. So oh, that's right. The, the, the kit itself doesn't. Yeah 
make you get to eight, it's you wanting to step it's you on just, it. Yeah, the noise. Like, you know, One day. What do you have for sliders? For rock sliders, I just have some custom made ones that my buddy made for me a long time ago. Beast Fab Fabrication. He did a custom plates uh, right there. And then on the other side, he put my YouTube logo on it. So. Oh, wow. that was pretty cool <laughs> that's sweet man that's a sweet yeah. touch i yeah. see the rear suspension is different than the front yeah so and it's not the what front, the majority that's no. have. what are you rocking it's not factory at all so for the rear i have the king 2.5 smooth body 12 inch remote reservoirs adjusters and then i had to do of course the archive garage set up here with the brackets so it can fit and then i also have the archive garage hangers and shackles as well which is so important lately yeah. guys oh. I just bent my yeah. hangers and I knew I had to get these on and because of <laughs> yeah. not being able to get to it, we didn't and they completely yeah, bent. Yeah, and they bent. I saw that. That's bad. <laughs> that was crazy. So I got to get those yeah. on as soon as possible. What do you have for the bed rack? Uh, so for the bed rack, I have the CBI Off-Road Overland Series Cab Height Bed Rack. And to me, this is awesome. One, because I have a, uh, we'll show you guys, I guess, in the back right now, but a big fridge. So I needed, you know, a little bit more space. And then I just, I wanted it to kind of fit flush with my Rome box in a way. So I like it. It's awesome. Super sturdy, versatile. Nice. <laughs> I see you have your tailgate open back here. Yes, what sir. bumper are you, do you have, is this the high clearance rear? It is. Yeah, from CBI. Yeah, from CBI. How awesome is it having two tables? It's, oh, it's night and day difference. I keep telling everybody that keeps asking me about it. I used to carry camp tables and just regular party tables as well. Yeah. And I, I got rid of those after this. Yeah, it's one less yeah, thing to take. Exactly. Now I can set up, you know, my little grill here and have the whole setup here for everything else. So Sweet, I love man. it. <laughs> you mentioned you had a fridge. Here it yeah. is. What is this? Fridge? So this is, um, it's a newer, I guess they're more known in Australia, but they are starting to come into the States. It's a kick-ass dual zone fridge. I have a bag over it. Just, I don't know. Just it's mainly so it doesn't get scratched. <laughs> Dude, and to be honest with you, yeah. like, uh, I don't know if this one does, but some of these bags help with the heat. That's what I've heard. It gets so yeah. hot. Yeah. I, that's what I've heard. And I've had my fridge off since the morning. I have some waters in there right now, which they're still pretty cold. So I haven't, I it's turned it off since slide. yesterday actually. Yeah, so the kick, this is a kick-ass slide. And then it also has oh, wow. to do, uh, cut your stuff, you know? That is so cool, <laughs> Just man. Just chop up the onions or whatever you want. An extra yeah. table. Exactly, <laughs> if you need it. And then, um, yeah, and for the back, you might not be able to see it. I have a small mess, but I have all the way around uh, some Rough Country Molly panels. So I can go ahead and mount, you know, accessories and stuff like that. And thanks to the CBI off-road uh, rack here, I can mount my uh, ditch lights and tent and everything like that. Or sorry, my chase lights and tent. Those are super so, important, especially if you're yeah, going out with a crew. Exactly, and dust and stuff like that. So I love it. I see you have aftermarket tail lights. I do. I got those off TacomaBeast.com. They're the Alpha Rex. Are those the new ones? They're not. So I'm still waiting for the Lux series. Yeah, the <laughs> ones that have the, the sequence. Yeah, oh, I can't, I'm can. excited for that. Yeah. That way it can match with the front. And then, um, yeah, so I guess the bumper, I don't know if I mentioned that, but it's the CBI off-road high clearance one. I think it's similar to it's similar to yours. Yeah, it's literally yeah. the same one we same have on Same one, right? Yeah. Um, the only thing, I think you have the Rotopax, I have the for the jerry can setup. So. so I had the Rotopax. Oh, okay. And, and then I went with the jerry okay. can. Okay, all right, so. I did the same. Yeah, you get. I, so. I feel like you get more gas out you of do. it. You do, 10 gallons instead of, I think, like eight or something yeah. like that, or six, I forgot. Jesse got a new... Uh, yeah. Have you used it? Have. New awning from so, us. Yeah. How do you so, like it? You haven't used I it yet? I love it. I've actually used it plenty of times and it cuts cuts the sun. It's nice to be able to, you know, sit underneath with your chair. But yeah, that's from TacomaBeast.com. So if you guys want That's one, our new one, limited yeah. edition. Make sure to check it out. One thing I did forget to mention is going to be this Lenson 85 watt solar panel. This thing is awesome because it does charge my battery. So all the time it's going to be topped up since I do run a fridge. It'll help the longevity of the battery. It's also cool because it does help with the anti-glare. So when you're inside, you're going off-road at night. And like for me, I do have a uh, light bar up top. It kind of helps out with the glare so it's not blinding me. I love it. If you had to recommend anything to the viewers out there, what would you recommend as far as like getting into this hobby? Um, for sure, I'd get, uh, if I was you guys, for example, for me, I have full CBI off-road skids underneath. That, I'd probably say get that <laughs> first than any mod, right? Yeah. Because if you're going to be going out, if you're going to be going out, that's probably something I can tell them. Awesome, so, man. Thank yeah. you for the feedback. Guys, make sure to check him out. He has a YouTube channel himself. Yes, sir. <laughs> What's uh, the handle for the YouTube um, channel? So for the YouTube channel, it's just literally just Jesse Rizzo, and that's it. Make sure to Simple. check him out, guys. Thank you, man, for your yes, time. Yes, sir. Really and thank appreciate you. it. I appreciate it as well. 
Up next, we're here with Jeff from Expedition Essentials. How's it going, Jeff? How are you, man? Good, man. How you doing? How's the show been so far? Awesome. Yeah. That's awesome to hear that, yeah. my man. Do you have a sweet Tacoma that's extremely outfitted, and I want to know about it. What do you have up in the front for the front bumper? Front bumper's ARB Summit. Solid, beefy. It's the Summit Series. And um, why did you decide to go with this bumper out of all the options that you have out there? I really like the Australian look. Yeah, you know, ARB. Yeah, they kind of have that down because they're from Australia. So uh, it was a it was a good option for the Tacoma. It looks good on the Tacoma. I like this version because it has more of the rounded corners versus the old ones have more squared off edges. And it just, to me, it looks beefy on the truck. It does look beefy on the truck. Protection. And what do you have on it right now? I see you have some lights. Do these come with the bumper? These or? do. Oh, the, LED, do. the LED side marker lights do come with the bumper. What about these fog lights the back mark, here? The marker lights are from Vision X. And so, yeah, you get it stock with with their light, which is just a halogen. So I, I modified the housing to put the Vision X LEDs in there. Cool, man. What about for the winch? The winch is actually a Bulldog 12K. And so it's 12,000 pound winch with a wireless controller with synthetic line. And we have Agency 6 um, fair lead and their shackles. Which cool. How do you like that setup so far? Very, very good, man. It's It works. Works awesome. Awesome, man. Now this bumper looks super massive, Jeff. How, do you know how much it weighs by any chance? I don't. Definitely more than your typical bumper, but they're they're not they're not too bad. It's I don't know exactly. The reason why I'm asking is because usually when there's a front bumper, you know, it's super heavy. Yeah. And because of that, you have to upgrade your suspension. Yep. Right. What did you decide to go with for suspension up here? For our suspension, we have the Dobinson's MRR three-way adjustable, and they're they're set up nicely for a heavier heavier load on front bumpers, winch. All that stuff. I do know that you used to rock different suspension systems, right? Yes. How do you like this suspension system compared to other ones? I did. I, I rocked the old man EMU B51s and it was great suspension, but I had high miles on it. So it was time to replace it with something else. And I want something that was more tunable to what to our weight. And Dobinson's really came I called them, I told them what I was doing with my truck and how much weight I had, and then they tuned it to what I needed with the heavier coils and rear leaf pack and add a leaves to support all this weight that we have going on this thing Sweet, man. and I cannot, I cannot wait to show you guys what's in the back here because there's a lot up here i see you have a front runner roof rack but because of the camper it looks like you have to do some adjustments what did you do yeah so it's a full slimline two roof rack for the tacoma but to fit it underneath the canopy camper with the slide under table I had to cut basically where you say I had to cut the rear section off and trim it and then cut down the side rails here uh -huh. and just basically recap it. So oh, I took so most you made of the a short slats, version. Made a short, I took most of the slats out except for the, the front and the back one basically. Cool man. I also see here your logo. Right? Did you yes. do this yourself? This light bracket? Yes, yeah, so this this light mount is made by me. I made it a couple years ago and it's actuated by a linear actuator so you can control up and down movement from inside the truck from so inside you push just push a button in it and it goes up or down for, for for longer distance or shorter how depending on the conditions before we move to the back um i know you have something back here can you yes. show us this is kind of the oh, wow, the jewelry box clean. it's got a 63 quart arb fridge in there and uh did you did this? it's a full aluminum seat delete with a slide out that is locking Oh, no way, dude. So you have storage underneath. And, Look at uh, how easy it is to access this right now. Right there, that is so yeah. cool. Wow, dude, this is clean. Wow, and you still have one seat in the back. Still have one seat. And this just slides right back, or how do you? Just push this lever right here. Yeah. And slide it, slide it right, right back, back in. All right, let's move on to the back. So before we get into the camper, What's up with this massive bracket here? This here is our recovery board quick mount for, for Max Tracks. It's basically a quick action Max Tracks mount. So it gives you easy access instead of the four pins that you're fumbling with trying to get at them quickly. If you're in a stuck situation, you need to get access to them. So it, it's double locking, it uses a compression lock or a padlock. You can use both. Do you mind showing us? Not at all. It's so quick. There was even times where like I would choose not to use this, you know, the recovery board and try right. to find an alternative just because Difficult. I didn't want to get it out. Just, so like, just that. like that. They're out. That's beautiful, man. That's sweet. And then to put him back on. 
you beat the guy that had to use the four pins. Definitely. <laughs> he's, he's still looking for his, for his padlock keys. <laughs> So what's uh, behind the camper? What camper is this, first of all? Alucab Canopy Camper. It's uh, made in South Africa, and they're a great, they're a great camper for, for mid-sized trucks. Wow. All right, and then what do we have here now? So this is a drop-down table with a collapsible sink, and it just stores out of the way, so you can use it as a table and place oh, to wow, wash, wash your dishes. Oh, that is so cool. And then here we have an option of hot water, I see. Yes. How does this work, with gas? So this is an instant hot water heater by Echo Temp, and it is propane powered and has electric ignition. So it's pretty much an instant hot water heater. And then you have a shower right there. Shower head. And shower head. And this is a shower tent or shower cube. So, they, so full oh. privacy as you're showering out in the middle oh, yeah. of nowhere. It's great. That's beautiful, man. I see you have a light up here and an LED yeah, these, light. These come with the camper and they're really cool because they're dual function. You can hold the button and they oh, turn red. I so love that red so at nighttime, the you keep the bugs down. Yeah, yeah, yeah they're man, pretty cool. That's sweet. Cool, man. Let's move on to the back. I see you have a steel bumper. Yeah. Whose steel bumper is that? It's a CBI off road. We've had it on the truck since 2016. And you were able to fit it with the camper? No problem? Yes, no problem at all. What's this box right here? This is a product from Expedition Essentials. This is one of our products. So it's called the Exo Table. And there, it's a universal product, but it's really popular with the Canopy Camper guys because it gives you a, basically a, a tailgate kitchen. So it's a slide out stove and cutting board and upper table all in one little box. And I can show you how it works. Yeah, if you, if like you don't mind it. showing us, that would be sweet. You pull these pins and drop the table and it slides on out. What? And then it has these nice side arms for the heavier weights for your you know, some people use cast iron cookware and it'll support all that. Lock it in there. Yep. And then the oh, cutting, more, cutting board drops down. So I have a table and, and you, you have can a use table. Yep. Stuff to. Oh, yeah. cool, man. And it's it's a propane stove and these are the best stoves. So we integrated it into our XO table. Now, where where do you keep the gas? So our gas line, we have it plumbed in a camper and we have and I could show you here. We have a little pouch and the hose just coils up inside there. Well, that's clean. And then you uncoil it. And it goes right in the back. It goes right in the back. And hooks right up. Oh, right there. To your valve. And then where's the gas? Like the actual gas tank. So, I'm glad you asked. So here we have our propane quick bottle mount and that's also universal? This is also a universal product for multiple vehicles, but we have it mounted on this canopy camper. And these hold the 10 pound or five pound bottles with an adapter. But it's also, it works the same way as our Max Trax mount using a similar lock with the tumbler and a compression lock. And that's awesome, man. Nice and secure. Nobody's gonna steal that. Nobody's gonna steal it. It's, it's solid. Like it's solid. It's not we moving we leave it up here all the time. And then do you mind getting in there and showing us around? This looks like not a lot all. is going not on. Not at all. I'm gonna climb up in here. And I'm a, I'm gonna push the bed out of the way. Well, that is so cool. Look, he's fully standing up there. <laughs> yeah, it gives you awesome standing room. That's what's great about these. You can create like a little living room when you're not sleeping. You can push this up out of the way and you can hang out, which yeah. is cool. Wow. And then what about, uh, I see your logos are everywhere down here. Did you build all these drawers? I mean, yes. are these drawers or what are, what yes, are they? So, this one is a storage compartment and we keep a lot of random things in for camping basically lights and cables and a hatchet in there i think as far as the interior goes we did i did build it all for uh, for our camper kind of custom tailored to what we wanted with, with spots for storage for these front runner boxes that dude i love that because you can just you can just literally pull them out use them i use these a lot and I love the fact that they're just here chilling. Now, if you want to go to sleep, what do you do? So, you're ready for bed. You basically just pull this bed down. And then you just climb on up, just like that. That's awesome. <laughs> Works awesome. Hell yeah. And it's, these things are super comfortable. So, right now we're underneath a, an awesome, like right now we're on a lot of shade. 
Yes. And we've been walking around your truck. And the whole time I've had shade because of this uh, awning. Yes. Is this also, I see it's Alucab? Alucab, yes. That's their 270 awning. It's self-supporting. Yeah, so they, they'll hold up really well even with high wind. They're just, they're just a great awning. One thing I noticed, like, you have a shower. You mentioned you have a 22 gallon water tank out there. Yes. This canopy does not look light, like lightweight. You have a lot of weight back here. What did you do for suspension? So a couple things. So the first thing we did was was heavy springs in the rear from from Dobinson's, and okay. also in addition at a, at a leaf. Okay. Which really help with the weight. I mean, it doesn't sag even fully loaded with all the water. Do you have bags? So great. I do have airbags okay, that I used to use. Awesome. Used to. Used to. When I had the old man emus heavy springs. Yeah. Now I don't need them with, with the Dobinson springs. Wow, I never put air in it anymore. Interesting. And it, with all this it weight. handles all this weight. They do an outstanding job with their... I guess, do you use it when you have to level yourself? No, I just I just find a level spot. Okay. Just reposition or put a rock under your tire or max or the tracks. Max tracks. Yeah, the other max tracks, yeah. Cool, so, and also have um, Hellwig sway bars front and rear that kind of help balance the weight out when you're on the road. It really keeps it safe. Sweet, man. If you had to give advice to someone that's just getting into overlanding, that's just wanting to build their rig, what advice would you give them? Do what we did. Just start small, man. You, you know, a bed rack with a rooftop tent and keep it light and find out what you want out of your truck. You know, what, what makes you comfortable when you're camping? You know, ours progressed into a house, but that's not for everybody. You know, it just depends on what you want and what you want out of your truck and what you want out of your truck. This is a dedicated camper now. You know, before I used my truck for a daily driver. You know, I don't know if I'd want to do this with this specific with this setup. specific truck. But it's, yeah. it's just a camper now. It's a dedicated off-road camper. It's Sweet man, I love that advice. Thank you so much, Jeff, for your time. I love your truck. Very welcome. Thank you very much, Patel. Finally, ladies and gentlemen, for the last Tacoma here at Overland the Expo, we're here with Talon and his third gen Tacoma. How's it going, man? How good, are man. you? I'm good. Good to see you, man. Hey, good to I see you too. I know we only connected briefly before, but good I, to see you guys. I'm happy that we get to do a walk around your truck, get to know you. Yeah, man. Dude, so what you originally, by the way, he's a huge YouTuber. Most of you probably already follow him. You came from the van life, right? Came from the van life, yeah. I quit my job, did YouTube full time, and instead of buying a house, I bought a 4x4 Sprinter van and one thing led to another and now i'm in a tacoma and i was very late to the party so i knew when i was building this thing i had to do things very different and yeah we can just walk through the whole thing and, and this thing is different i cannot <laughs> wait to show you that massive thing Definitely that's bad. back there so let's start from this front um i see you have a c4 front bumper why did yep. you decide to go with this armor so i went with the c4 high clearance overland bumper with no bull bar which most people run a bull bar so this is something that was kind of unique and different i mean all steel handmade in sturgis so i love c4 and all their products um but without the bull bar most people are running like lights and stuff up here i just like how clean it looks kind of matches like the lines and angles of the wrap too so that's why I went with that. And then we packed all of that and the roof rack with all the diode dynamics lighting. I was going to ask you that. These lights look really different from the rest out there. Yeah, so these are like a flat, uh, flood spot combo. And I, eventually I'll probably swap out to some ambers, but I travel solo quite often. So I don't really need to have any ambers. I just like full white light all the time. Cool, man. Yeah. What did you do for the winch? So for the winch, this is a Warren uh, VR Evo 10S. And with the way this mounts up in here, I mean, I know you guys are familiar with it. We actually relocated the controller through this access hole over here. So it's a wireless winch and I can just run it wirelessly. Dude, but if wireless I, winches are the best. Dude, I'll never go back. Like I have a wired winch on my van and then I put this on the truck and I was like, oh my God, I'll, I'll never go back. Mine's not wireless, but I've had the chance to use other people's and I'm like, man, I'm missing out. It's convenient until like you run across someone and you need a pole and their remote's dead. Yeah. That just happened to me down in Baja. I, I was there around the same time you guys were. Yeah. And yeah, a dude needed to use his winch and his remote was dead. So I was like, well, that's kind of oh, useless. That's a downfall right there. <laughs> yeah. Skid blade C4 as well? Yeah, so we got uh, engine, transfer case, transmission, and then the uh, rear diff skid as well. I see you have an air compressor in there. Do you yep. have anything else under the engine uh, bay? We have the ARB twin air compressor. I have an engine intake. 
air raid snorkel pumps into that a lot of people kind of question that because they're not sure about the fitment and this will work with the stock air box and it just happens to work with that too and i see that it works with the prinsu as well works with the prinsu that was a little bit of customization we just kind of put standoffs on there and made it all fit together but i went with that specifically because all of the other intakes like uh, arb and some other companies are like really big and bulbous and i wanted to keep the truck like as sleek as possible cool man well, you're doing a great job at that. What about headlights? Headlights, we got Alpha Rex up front. We got the uh, taillights to match in the rear as well. They've been great so far. I originally started with the LED package on the 21 Tacoma and those lights were great. This was more of an aesthetic choice for me because I feel like output wise, they're roughly the same but just super sleek look with the projectors, kind of blacked out housing inside of it. Yeah, you got the darker toned one. Yeah. How do you like the DRL? Is it bright enough? Uh, it, it's pretty bright. I know there's some new companies out there putting out lights that I haven't seen a direct side by side comparison, but they might be a little bit brighter. Um, but the truck is new to me, so like I, I don't really notice any downside as of now. Cool, man. Let's move on to the back. What are you doing for uh, wheels and tires? So wheels and tires, we have Black Rhino Arsenals. These are 17s with a negative 18 offset. So give me a little bit of poke. They're wrapped in Toyo Open Country Mud Trains, so 35 by 12 and a half. And I drive on the road a lot, so I was kind of concerned about running these tires. It was just kind of what was available at the time, but I like how aggressive they are. In the summertime, it's muddy in Colorado, so. How's the noise, like the road noise? That's what I was getting at. I would think, just by looking at them, that it, you would get a lot of road noise with it whirring and everything, but they're surprisingly not bad. I probably have, 12,000 miles on these tires now. Oh wow. And they're holding up decently. I mean, now that we got all this weight on here, it's showing a little bit more wear, but they've been good so far. As long as you do alignment after you go have fun, yeah. you know, treat them nice and take care of them, they should do good. I got other stuff for that too. Like we got reinforced cam gussets underneath there, like all the little things. So I luckily have not needed an alignment with those reinforcements down there. So it's oh, been that's good. That's awesome. That's a good one. Yeah. What about suspension? Suspension, also kind of crazy. We're running Fox 2.5 DSC up front. Uh, we switched out the springs to 650 because I knew I was gonna be running some heavy bumpers and a winch up front. Uh, SPC upper control arms, Duro bumps up here. And I think that's it for the front suspension. All right, let's move on to the back. What do you have for sliders? So sliders running C4 again, all the way back. Uh, these are the options with the top plate and the kick out in the rear. I guess you guys know as well, but a lot more reinforcement than the stock points on here. So I could lift the whole truck up probably with the camper, just with a high lift jack because... Dude, I believe you. I've seen it. These things are bomb proof, man. Dude, looking at the truck right now, I was like, why is your Prince rack so yeah. small? And then I realized it's an axis cap. I don't know if you mentioned that at the beginning. I, I, I don't know. That's one of the things that I wanted to do because everyone was building four-door Tacomas. It was super popular, but not many people show the axis cap love. Yeah. So I was like... I'm gonna do that for the bigger bed, for a project like the camper. And that's why the Princey rack is shorter. They make one of the most low profile racks. It looks awesome up For there. the Axis cab, <laughs> yeah. It's it's a pretty tight fit. We, we did like a custom rack in the back, so that way it doesn't bump into the camper. But oh, really? This is just winter mode. And then in the summertime, I'm running to dime it back in a tent. Dude, so what is this camper that's back here? This this thing looks like it's ready to go to Mars. Yeah, so I always like refer to it as like a lunar lander. It's a company called Kimbo. They're out of Bellingham, Washington. They're all handmade in the United States, which I love. So this is their Series 6 camper and we can show you guys the inside and all that stuff here too. Before we do that, how heavy is it? The base one will start at about 950. I haven't had the chance to weigh this yet, but I believe I'm a little over a thousand pounds. Okay. So not crazy heavy. Not crazy. It's all aluminum construction. Um, if I remove these jacks, which I just haven't done yet, uh, when I put it on for winter, I'll pull these off. That'll save me another like 150 or 115 pounds. And it depends on how much gear you have loaded out on the inside too. Dude, so checking this thing out, like I was just like, at first I was like, what is this? And then immediately I realized, okay, whoa, the legs come off, right? And yeah. you can just take your truck. Now you have like a base. Yeah. You can go wheel your truck. You're not worried about being top heavy. Nope. Right? Yeah, so if you don't want to lose your camp spot, you literally uh, just take an impact or drill, put it on here, lower them to the ground. It'll stand by itself and then you just pull out and go wheel. 
dude, that's incredible. Save your cam spot. So what did you do for suspension in the back in order to hold up this bad boy? So this is where it gets a little bit, uh, a little bit different. Running Fox 2.5 DSC again, and these are actually from a Tundra. So it gives you an extra inch of down travel. We had to spin the top collar so we could mount the reservoir the opposite direction. So I still got good access to it. And that was just one thing kind of in preparation for the camper. I didn't want to make the rear end too stiff though because I knew I was going to run a tent in the summertime. So for a leaf pack, we have the Deaver Stage 2 Expedition Series leaf pack. Oh, well, you went with the Stage 2. Yeah. Oh, because you didn't want it that stiff. Because I didn't want it that stiff. I, I could have just gotten away with like a Stage 3, but then when I'm running the tent, it would just not be super comfortable. Okay. So. When I put this camper in, just say it's about a thousand pounds, I thought this thing was going to really sag. Yeah, I was, I was thinking And that. it didn't. It really didn't sag all that much. To combat that though, I also have Firestone Ride Right airbags, Daystar cradles in there, and the, the valves are in the back. So right now when I was pulling into the show, I pumped them up to like maybe 40 PSI, but they go up to 100, so I could probably and raise the You can the adjust truck. also for like if you're yeah. off camber. We were sleeping the one night, uh, I think we were up in California, and we were leaning in a non-favorable direction, yeah. so I literally let air out of one of the bags, so and the whole truck kind of Oh, dude, that's bit. amazing. That's a luxury right yeah, there. Yeah, dude, it was very nice. How do you climb up here? Like, do you just kind of have to... Just step all over the truck. Yeah. I'll show you quick. So I, I just step on my slider, tire, and then just kind of on the side of the bed. And you got a and hole. do you have anything up there that you can have access to, or it's mostly for... There's 200, uh, 200 watts of solar up here and then a Max Air fan. But this can actually support your weight, so I can stand up here, pop a chair up, look at oh, the stars. That is so uh, awesome, man. Yeah, it's pretty neat. <laughs> have a little balcony up there. Yeah. Let's talk uh, high clearance rear bumper. What do you have? High clearance rear bumper, also from C4. Um, this is a little bit different. Like I mentioned with the front bumper, I didn't do the bull bar. So for this, I did a driver's side swing. Most people prefer passenger side swing. Yeah. Uh, mainly because of the way the door of the camper. That's awesome out. that you thought about that. That's one of the things that I always advise. Make sure that you think of the future of the build, where it's going, because little things like this yeah. could get in the way if you don't plan correctly. Yeah, it's very, very little things like that. Like I thought about that way too long. I was going back and forth for like 30 minutes. I'm like, do I want it passenger side, driver's side? And then I thought about the door. This isn't a permanent fixture, but when it's on there, I want it to swing the same yeah. way. So. Cool, man. We got, we got that. We're oh. ready to go inside? No, yeah. not yet, not yet. Or we can talk about this stuff too. Yeah. This is all C4 too, Rotopax, Max Track, full size spare. And I got a high clearance exhaust, Nitro 529 gears, which helps with the camper and the weight and everything. Oh, I can imagine. And I'm, that's awesome that you went with 529s. Yeah, I originally did it for the, uh, the 35s, which was, I don't think you need to go that extreme for it, but then with the weight, it, it helped out a lot. So it drives great. Let's check it out. Yeah, let's go in. So on the back, I just bought this at the show, Mountain Hatch Tailgate. Yeah, these are awesome. So this is like a little porch at night. With the access cab, these campers were designed to specifically fit right in here. So I have that, the little spacer that I built that we talked about, that's basically for clearance up front. You ratchet strap it into place. You got extra airline back here. And yeah, I guess we can go inside now. Dude, I totally picture you with a chair up here just chilling like, in the morning, like the most scenic place. It's a great place to pee <laughs> in the middle of the night. Instead of climbing down your ladder from your tent, just walk out onto your tailgate. And That's sick. It's pretty nice. Tailgate's high, so just get up here however you see fit. Oh, wow, dude. Dude, I was not expecting this to be this, uh, this much space. <laughs> yeah, it's very deceptive. Holy cow. Wow, people know how to make use of small space. Yeah. What's that grass up there? So this is just uh, this grass that I sat there. This is sort of like a nightstand. We got storage, power system. It's an EcoFlow. I think it's 1440 uh, watts on that. This will work with shore power. So if you want AC, you just plug it into the side. I've actually been driving around with it plugged into the bed of the Tacoma, which is nice because I can get a little bit of charge while we're driving. Oh, sweet. Solar works great. Dometic fridge. We got a sink. Dickinson boat heater. All of the storage in here is baskets instead of cabinets. So if you got like some food in your pantry that's been sitting there forever, you'll know. And uh, 
comfortable full-size bed. We actually have a little bit of extra room up towards the front. One thing that makes these campers super unique is the actual structure of them. There's no wood structure like in an RV. So that's why it seems so big. Like three of us are standing in the back of a Tacoma right now, which that's is kind wild. of crazy. Yeah. So double pane windows, a window up front is very difficult to do with a camper just because of the wind resistance and everything. So they stress test everything. They're built in the Pacific Northwest. So they're very water sealed and weatherproof. And for, dude, air, for airflow, like this seems like it must be amazing. You open up that window, this one right here, I'm guessing the door has a window too, or just yeah. having the door open, yeah. and it'll just flow. Pop on the max air fan. Like it's a little warm in here right now, but if I turn this fan on in probably 15 seconds, we would get the breeze through here. And Dude, look, he even has a closet. Look at this. Yeah. This is a closet. Little closet here. What's be Is there anything underneath this? Uh, nothing underneath that. Underneath this little reading nook here, is actually a shower basin. Oh, what? You have a toilet? <laughs> we got a Dometic toilet in there. No way. Geyser shower system. And then these little hooks on the ceiling here is where you hang your shower curtain from. Yeah. So you can shower in here. <laughs> yeah. So the that hose runs incredible. out there. Incredible. It's coming from the van world and going to this, it's very minimal but practical, which I love. Like Kimbo and the way they design these things, they give you the opportunity for repair. And I like that so much because you buy new vehicles today and like they don't want you working on them yourself. So you got to go to the dealers and this and that. So having a camper that you can replace this tabletop if you need to, you can replace every wall panel in here if you cut it, burn it, whatever it may be. So having that ability is super nice too. Cool, man. Dude, thank you so much for showing us around. Yeah, and man. This is, this is, I was not expecting this <laughs> at all. I'm, I'm fascinated by it. This is really, really cool. Yeah, thanks, And just man. the fact that this thing can just stay on its own and you take away, yep. like take off. I definitely, awesome. I definitely got to show that functionality at some point because yeah. everyone is kind of blown away by that. Yeah. So cool, I'm going to make it happen. Thank you, dude. Yeah, really man. appreciate your time. Yeah, thanks for checking out the truck. Those were the top five Tacomas at Overland Expo 2022. I want to know which one you guys thought was the most badass Tacoma out there. Make sure to comment on the comment section down below. If you guys haven't already done so make sure to subscribe to the channel it really helps us out if you guys enjoy this video make sure to smash that like button i'll see you guys in the next video